you were pretty harsh on special teams in that in that game. After kind of rewatching it and absorbing it again, what, what did you what did you think? Well, I mean, uh, you know, um, no no one's more disappointed than I am. I mean, we, we have ownership as coaches to have our guys prepared, and hopefully, it's my responsibility. We've got to prepare our guys better. And what was disappointing is uh, you know we had two delay penalties and then uh, uh, you know uh, a couple other. Mental, mental things uh, that uh, uh, you know. You know, we obviously, you know, some of the kicks were, were not were not not good. But uh, uh, and then, uh, but all the, all that rest on us. Uh, you know, we just got to get our, we got to get as coaches. We got to get our players to perform better than that. And that's something that's been not that's been we haven't characteristically played like that. On we, we played, I think, pretty well on special teams. So uh, just got to get better. How we stick with. Michael Sleek Dalton, if his right foot doesn't get better, or what are your options? There? You know, I, yeah, I think he, you know they got a, um, uh, some information back yesterday that said it was getting a lot better. So we're hoping that that uh, that he will uh, be ready to go with his uh, right foot. But if if not, you got to have a healthy healthy guy in there. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, and he's done he, he's done pretty good. He's actually did that for two weeks. I don't know. Same thing the first week, and so he's uh, um, done done pretty. He, you know, the first one he put on the one foot line, uh, but uh, we, we will. Uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll. It's important that we have somebody that's uh, uh, you know ready to go, and I, I anticipate that he will be. What do you make of the protections issues? The issues with protections that you guys have had. Well, you know, uh, you know, the whole thing is just uh, a lot of it is just is, has been. Getting everybody on the same page. That, that, that's that's the whole thing. And uh, uh, you know, when you start off early, you know, especially with newness and uh, to what you're doing, uh, it's just. And, and we just got to keep grinding. We just got to keep getting better. And we're working day and night. Uh, um, you know, this program means an awful lot to me. And uh, uh, you know, I, I, we can, we're going to get it done. We just got to go. We got to work. We got to get better. And uh, uh, I think it's all it's all about execution and. And, uh, you know, we did, we did uh, I thought we did protect better than we had the, the, the week before. And, and there's, there's different factors involved in it uh, that has to do with timing and execution that uh, we've got to work hard and, and uh, get, get, our, get our execution, get our timing down better than what we're doing. And everybody, it was just getting everybody uh, comfortable with what we're doing. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, when you start, the bullets start flying, you start playing different people. You're playing people that are doing all a lot of different things. It's uh, you know sometimes that's uh, that's a challenge to your execution. So uh, it's going to get better. And then uh, 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 the office we're on to, to Texas Tech, and, and it's a totally different thing this week. You know uh, they'll be you know every year they're the best passing offense in the country and um, very well coached on special teams and uh, playing playing a lot better defensively. And uh, I was very impressed with their first game. They, they only played one game and uh, they they really looked um, a lot better defensively. I know, you know they're doing the scrimmages in the fall camp. You saw Frank Darby make so many big plays during scrimmages. How rewarding was it to see him play the way he did? Yeah, I'm excited about Frank. I think Frank is a guy. I love his. I love his spirit on the sideline. You know, that's our whole kind of our whole focus this year is our sideline and and uh, you know really being together and uh, uh, you know being competitive, uh, uh, but honoring each other with with our, our attitude and our effort on the sideline. He's just he's just a guy that uh, I've been very very impressed with, and you know we've we've. Done some nice things down the field. Uh, you know, we just, you know, we had a, <clears throat> we got a big play there with John John there, right? That could, we would have been, we actually would have took the lead there. That was big. And so uh, uh, our vertical passing game's been, it's been pretty solid. We just keep, we, big things get our run game going and, and uh, get to execute what we know how to execute. As far as the run game goes, how do you, you said you were, want to be a run play action pass teams. How do you get the run? What can you do as coaches this week to get the run game going and then be able to get the play action pass? Yeah, lots of, lot, lots of things we can do. I mean, and, and there were some things that they were doing uh, that were, and, and where we were late in the game, uh, when we got down two scores, we obviously had to throw the ball more. But, uh, uh, and they were doing some things loading the box that, that made us throw the ball more as well because we're you know we're, we're not going to run into bad numbers and things like that. But um, you know, there's lots of things that we can do. Mostly fundamentally, uh, making sure that uh, uh, we don't have mental errors and things like that. It's not just the fact that uh, it's not that we have good players. 
that that's not the issue. Um, uh, we just got to get them playing better fundamentally and make sure we eliminate the errors. And as far as sacks go, uh, seven in the first game, five in the second mm -hmm. game. Um, is there anything that you can do? Can you put more tight ends in the formations? Can you create uh, more protection? I always got to work and get better executing. You know, execute what we do, and uh, uh, we're we're playing with uh, uh, you know most most of that that game there. We were playing with a, at least one tight end in the game, and when we got to throwing the ball, we went to four wides later. So um, that's probably uh, to be honest with you, where we've got to get the, have the most improvement. Uh, uh, over half those sacks were with with, with our tight ends blocks. So and uh, you know we, we just got to do a better job of executing. Uh, you mentioned. John Humphrey again, a pretty nasty injury. Is that going to be? Uh, no, no, it's not going to be a season um, at all. Uh, but uh, you know, he'd be questionable this week. Anything new on Demario Richard? Uh, should be back and ready to go. Uh, Ryan Newsom should be back and ready to go. Um, I think uh, um, Monte King will be available. Uh, Evan Fields will be available. So we're getting some guys back. Um, Obviously, it, it hurts us when you know, Mario is such a, a, a fixture for us in protection and in running the football in the run game. It's it's it, it's big to have him back. When you're playing your your base personnel on nickel downs, how how do you feel about how that's been going so far <laughs> on defense? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we have um, you know you know had Chase back last week. We didn't have him the first week. I think uh, um, against a power team like they were, uh, you know, I didn't. You know, I mean, obviously. Coach Ben is making those decisions on what he wants to do, whether he wants to go nickel or stay in base. But, um, you know, we, uh, we've talked a lot about uh, uh, as you move into the, our league and the spread teams and stuff like that, you know, I think we'll do more, more sub packages. But we did sub and, and rotate in. I thought Renal Red, Ren did some nice things. Uh, um, had some guys, you know, we had a little bit more of a rotation going with those guys. I think they did, you know, did some good things. We are doing it. We're being active up front. We're getting TFLs, getting sacks, and you know, we're with minimal with minimal pressure. Uh, we just got to, you know, you look. We gave up one long run, and then we gave up a third and twenty-one where we we, we came off our guy basically. But uh, you know, we uh, we've looked at those situations, and you know, that's fourteen points on those two just two plays. Uh, and we gave up twenty points defensively, really. Uh, we had a kickoff return for a touchdown, and then uh, 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 we kicked one out of bounds, and they kicked a field goal off of it. Uh, there, on where we shanked a punt. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we obviously gave too many rushing yards, uh, uh, but uh, I thought there was, I thought there was lots of improvement in things, especially uh, with uh, uh, just how we played uh, on, on the defensive line. I think I just asked that just in light of secondary. I thought played better too, but obviously it wasn't a passing team. Yeah, the giving up the long third down conversions. I didn't know if having the linebackers on the all the linebackers on the field was something that you wanted to revisit. The what now? The, having all the linebackers on the field. I didn't know if that you thought about maybe taking one off, having an extra defensive back. And well, the the the, the whole idea is to have linebackers in there because that was the back out of the backfield that mm -hmm. uh, that hurt. You know, and you can you can we had somebody on it. We had somebody assigned to it. Uh, we were actually playing a, a conservative call, and so. Uh, um, He's got to, when you're doing that, you just got to be a Simon Ori because they, you know, he, you know, he came out scrambling and we came off our man and he threw it to him. And then you got to figure out a way to get him down. But uh, uh, we've looked at that stuff to uh, to try to look at the, the extra long, long, extra long, and extra, extra long situations, get better at those. Uh, people these days can be pretty vicious on social media mm -hmm. between the players. Do you, do you address that in the locker room or what's your message to the players? You know, I, uh, yeah, my whole deal is, is, um, you know, I'll be honest with you. Uh, you don't play well. Uh, nobody's more disappointed than I am. And uh, uh, you're, you're, you know, uh, I don't blame anybody for, for, for criticizing or any of that. But uh, it doesn't. It's not productive. But uh, uh, we don't. We try not to uh, try to talk to our guys about uh, you know controlling the things that we can control. And that's our attitude and our effort. And uh, all you have to do is go out and perform on the field, and you don't have to worry about that kind of criticism. So uh, that's why I don't. We spend much time on, on on social media and things like that, but uh, on the same hand, I'm you know nobody's more disappointed than I am. Uh, this this sunk my heart and soul in this place, and uh, means a lot to me. It means a lot to me to get it right. So I don't I don't um, have any negative feelings towards anything negative because uh, you need to bring it upon yourself not performing. Not to, and that's on us as coaches. I'm not talking about our players. Not to age you or anything, but 
you, your career predates the social media explosion. Mm -hmm. Was it easier to manage the, the noise back when you earlier in your career? You know, I don't, I, I really, the, the only thing to be totally honest with that's hard for me is my kids and my wife. That's, that's, that's about it. Um, and, and probably, you know, it's hard for, you know, these players are like my kids. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, when I talked to our guys of the day, that's what I talked about. I talked about that, uh, uh, you know, that our program, when I came in here, said we're going to be a program about competing for championships. We, 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 we've done that, and then we obviously we, we're two games into the season. So, so we got a ways to go uh, before this season's evaluated. But, uh, um, you know, I don't, uh, you, you bring criticism on yourself by not performing well, and we did not perform well. And so, you know, uh, I deserve the criticism when you have that. What challenges are there associated with such vastly contrasting styles of San Diego State versus Texas? That's the way it is every, every, I mean, it's in the Pac 12s, even, even, you know, more so that way. So I think it's really, to be honest with you, I mean, uh, um, you know, you've seen, uh, I think, New Mexico State beat New Mexico. Um, you know, I think that uh, and they were like a spread, read zone kind of team. Uh, and then you play a team that's probably similar to what Stanford, kind of how Stanford would line up and do things. Uh, uh, and then, uh, obviously, this week we're playing an air raid team that's as good, you know, they do as good as anybody in the country. So it's, it's pretty diverse. And then you roll into the season, you're going to have the same type deal. You're going to go from, you know, we start off a conference with Oregon, then you go to, you know, uh, Stanford, and, and you have Washington. So so it's, uh, you, you have, there's there, that's just the way it is. And you just got to be able to, uh, the biggest thing that we've got to stay focused on is what, what are the goals at hand that we're trying to accomplish. And the number one thing is not give up cheap touchdowns, okay? And then the other, the other thing is the turnover ratio, is, which is really, really big. Those are the two things that we want to continue to work hard every day to get better at. We gotta get better running the football. That, that's the that's that's the bottom line. We gotta get better there. And uh, and I, I I tell you this, I we can. We we are working really hard to get those things corrected to get it where it needs to be. Uh, they have a their quarterback. Everyone knew last year Patrick Mahomes what he brought. What, what have you seen on film with every quarterback? Very good quarterback. He came in last year, played some last year, and. Uh, you know they're always going to have a the, the, you know the, their their system is one that uh, they just you know obviously Holmes is pretty special. Uh, uh, they, the guy they got right now is very very capable and, and does a very good job extending plays. Big strong arm, make all the throws. Uh, they got very good receivers. Got a really good running back who was number four from last year. Um, so you know they're very very capable. The key against them is the same thing is you know you have to. They throw a lot of screens and a lot of spots to the receivers and things like that. You got to tackle well in space and make sure you line up and keep keep things in front of you. And uh, uh, you got to get takeaways uh, because they're going to go fast and run a lot of plays. And uh, um, so that's the and, and, and we're, we're we're very familiar with playing this system. So uh, it still doesn't make it any easier. You said that you thought the secondary showed some improvement. Do you think they're ready for a, an air raid? I, I, you know, I, I never, you know, you're never ready for anything. You just get it and do it. You know, that's uh, that's that's my my deal. But uh, no, I, I, I'll tell you, I, I've been really proud of. Uh, you take two young corners that are, are very inexperienced coming in. It, it really, I, I think, uh, and they have they have steadily gotten better every week and are comp competing and and putting in a lot. You know, they, you know, they have. You know, there's no way to get around. You're going to be in a one on one situation with with the people that play with four wides. So. Uh, no, I, I, I do. I think uh, I think that it's a maybe big challenge. Uh, but our deal, our focus is is going and uh, uh, getting getting figuring out somehow some way to get a win, and then and then get ready for conference play. Pretty good.